Greetings, young learners. Sit with me, as the breeze of Barbados whispers tales of bygone times. You see, my life's journey is a chronicle of slavery, an institution as old as our civilizations, yet one that transformed dramatically between 1450 and 1750. In my homeland, Africa, slavery existed long before the Europeans came. It was not benign, but it was different. We enslaved those captured in wars, indebted, or born into it. However, these slaves could marry, own property, and their children were often born free. They were part of our households, part of our lives. But as I grew, the winds of change blew across our lands. The Mediterranean and Indian Ocean traders, with whom we traded gold, ivory, and sometimes slaves, were now joined by Europeans with insatiable hunger for human labor. The transatlantic slave trade, a term you might have heard, began to cast its long dark shadow. I witnessed the shift, the cruel metamorphosis of our practices. The European traders, they wanted more slaves, healthier, stronger. And they offered goods we had never seen, guns, metals, textiles. The temptation was too great for many of our leaders. Soon our raids became more vicious, not for traditional reasons, but to capture humans for sale. Families torn apart, villages left in despair. The fabric of our society was ripping apart. And here, in Barbados, where you stand, a new world was being built on the backs of my brethren. The plantation economy boomed, fueled by sugar, a crop that demanded ceaseless toil under the cruel Caribbean sun. The demand for slaves surged. Plantations here did not just alter the landscape, they reshaped demographics, societies, and cultures. Slaves brought here, including some I knew, were stripped of their identities. Yet they clung to their music, stories, and faith, creating a rich, syncretic culture. Their resilience in the face of brutal oppression and their contributions, often erased or diminished in the tales of the victors, are the threads that wove the tapestry of this island's history. You see, my young friends, the changes in slavery were not just numbers and roots. They were about human lives, lives that labored, loved, and longed for freedom. Continuities existed, yes, in the practice of slavery, but the transformations were profound and painful. As you walk these lands, remember the stories of those who walked before you, their struggles, their strength, their spirit. For in understanding their past, you shape a more compassionate future.